All I'm gonna say is that it's September 5th and this weather, this is fall, baby. It is PSL, it is screaming autumn leaves, burnt crisp apple cider, like this is giving me fall and I'm ready for it. Psych, we're ready for Christmas. I'm just kidding. No, I'm totally kidding. I'm very much excited for fall, but I mean, I've never made a video like this before, and I thought about it for a little while, and at first I was a little bit embarrassed, and then I was thinking, you know what? One of the things that I try very hard to be on my channel is authentic. As cliche and as cheesy as that is, it's very much true. It's like one of my pillars that I always try and keep myself grounded by. Oh my god, what is this? It's like a bug bite or a pimple? Who invited them? What the heck? Absolutely not, not today, Satan. Let's just apply. This is like this miracle stuff that I got far too long ago. I don't even know where I could probably get it again. I'm assuming I would need a prescription for it, but I kid you not, I put this stuff on any sort of blemish, instantly gone. Like it just talks to my skin. I feel like, you know, you only get a very, very small portion of my story when you see my videos. Obviously, I record myself. I'm talking to the camera. It's a very unnatural thing. Then I sit down and edit out the footage that I don't like, or I piece it together to make a story, a narrative, something fun, entertaining, etc. So you only really get to see, well, I was gonna say glamorous, but my channel is anything but, but you know, you see, somewhat of a highlight reel, just like Instagram, TikTok, you get the point. But something I very intentionally never record is Taylor post drinking, as in Taylor with a really bad hangover, as in Taylor made a lot of big mistakes and she's paying for it big time, all day long, the whole next day, and then maybe then some. Huh. I wouldn't really consider myself to be a huge drinker, but when I want to have a good time, your girl is there and ready. Like I always have maybe just one glass too many, one shot too many, and it's just that one little bit that kind of throws me for a loop. And I quite literally spend the whole next day lying down in my bed, feeling very anxious. I get a lot of hangover anxiety, and oftentimes, I'm pointing out the toilet if you can fill in the blanks. And the thing is, getting drunk, having a night out, basically just enjoying yourself or whatever it might be, is so beyond normal. Of course, sometimes the aftermath is better than others, but honestly, it is so okay. And I don't know why I get so riddled with anxiety after nights like that, because it's something that is so beyond okay. Something else that I go on to talk about in the remainder of the video that I didn't mention here is also a lot of guilt and anxiety that I feel surrounding my health and fitness journey. And I know that I very much strive to have a healthy lifestyle, but at the same time, I think something that I have a really hard time getting past is not feeling like I spent the whole last week working so hard in the gym and then I go out and I have this wild night and I maybe I have one too many whatever and then I feel like it was all for nothing and I know that is ridiculous but I'm voicing this because I don't know we're being vulnerable in this video but that's something that I really have a hard time getting past but somebody that I really admire one time mentioned to me how they deal with hangover anxiety as well and I didn't think it was a thing I actually had no idea that other people kind of wake up with a lot of guilt or regret for honestly not many reasons other than just this idea that you're waking up feeling kind of mad at yourself. And I think I'd like to just help normalize that and make it feel like you're not as alone as you feel that day after when you're just feeling so many thoughts and every thought and feeling and emotion is running through your mind and you don't even know how to put it on pause. But this is my day two. Today is Sunday. I had my wild night on Friday. I spent all of Saturday in bed. Uh, not feeling the best. And Sunday is my I'm getting my life back together day. <laughs> and you know what? All day long yesterday, I just kept thinking, I am totally wasting my day away. I walked outside once, one singular time, and I felt so much guilt and regret, and I was so angry with myself. But you know what? Maybe that was exactly what my body needed, and nothing that I was thinking in that moment is that big of a deal. And today, you know, I took my shower, I washed my hair, we're doing our skincare, and we're slowly gonna get our lives back on track. <laughs> It's 
It's gonna sound cheesy, but one of the first things I do, genuinely, is I open up my blinds, and I'm not even kidding. I know I live in an apartment that has very little natural light, and I know that it very negatively affects me. But the minute I just see life again, I see light, I see day, like, I know that things are going to be okay. And it kind of just gives me a minute to have that small little peace of mind. Then I shimmy my way over to pick up my water bottle, which I know you're like, Taylor, go away. We get it, you drink a gallon of water, yada, yada, yada. But even from a health perspective, okay, we have lost a lot of water. We've lost a lot of electrolytes. So all of these things need to be replenished the day afterwards, or in my case, the next day and the next day. Depending on how queasy I'm feeling really dictates like what I want to be eating. Right now, I absolutely need to go to the grocery store. So we will be doing that today. For the moment, I have rice cakes, which is the most bread-like thing that I have as an option right now. Normally, your girl would love a bagel. I'd love a piece of toast. I'd love a breakfast burrito, something just Mmm, yes! But this will do for now. <laughs> I know it's like not even an original snack, but you can just not go wrong with a rice cake and a topping. I like to go rice cake and avocado, rice cake and peanut butter, rice cake and yogurt. Oh, rice cake with eggs and bacon, like a little Sammy. Honestly, the most versatile food. In case you missed it, I'm on a night shift schedule right now, so that is why this is the start to my day, which even makes things so much more complicated when it comes to the hangover recovery, getting my life back in sorts, also means I'm getting my life back into a sort I'm not exactly comfortable with yet. Like, nothing makes sense. Make it make sense, it can't. I know, I know, so original, don't come for me. It's delicious and it's popular for a reason. I just sat here for maybe 20 minutes filming this TikTok. Genuinely, if you have not used this filter yet, go change your life. Like, go make yourself feel so beyond happy because you are the main character and I'm just, I'm preaching it now. I suppose this is a part of the helpful healing hangover process. Helpful healing hangover process. I don't know, gave me a little boost of energy, I'll tell you that. Also, I know that this is counterintuitive, but because my day is just getting started, I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee, which actually I have read that caffeine can help a little bit, like a little, little bit with hangovers, probably because maybe if you have a headache, it can maybe help with a caffeine type of headache. I don't really know if that matters, but either way, I need caffeine. So sometimes you gotta compromise. And I know just when I have like that first cup of coffee for the day, even though it's 6 p.m., I do feel a little bit better about myself. I just feel like, all right, day's about to get productive. Game on. My coffee routine has somehow gotten lazier and lazier. Now I'm at the point of just barely, barely using the Nespresso, letting it pump out and letting her do her thing and then just enjoying a black cup of coffee. Like I want to froth milk. I want to have a latte, a cappuccino. I just can't get myself to do it. And that's on laziness. All right, this part is kind of cheesy, but I wanted to include it because lately I've been trying to be very, very intentional about my coffee time. I used to be the type of person that would always multitask. I'd make my cup of coffee, go straight into my work for the day. But there's something so beautiful about just setting aside five minutes to enjoy your cup of coffee, whether that's just sitting peacefully with your thoughts, scrolling on TikTok, reading whatever piece of literature you wanna read, just enjoying yourself. I think it sets great intentions for the day and it's a really nice way to actually start out your day instead of rushing into work. So take my advice, leave it. Either way, here's a cute little time lapse. For my next tip, what is this, like five? Six? I don't know. I basically force myself to go outside and I really do mean force. Don't stare at the piles of laundry, please. There's actually this kind of strange thing. Well, it's not even strange, it's actually pretty cool. Called grounding, where if you go outside like first thing in the morning or whatever time of day you start your day and you actually just put your feet on the earth, like on grass, on dirt, not cement, not concrete, not, it's not the same thing, <laughs> not blacktop, like whatever it is. If you stick your feet just 
feet to earth, it's really, really helpful for you. And not only is that a great thing to try and do first thing in the morning, what's also really good is just being outside. Like if you're lucky enough to have sunshine, enjoy the sunshine. If you can just feel the air, if you just can kind of get yourself out of that mindset of feeling like you're in a cubby of your own home. Obviously, we all went through 2020 together, and I felt like the one thing that kind of kept me feeling like myself was my daily walks or just getting outside in one way or another, whether that means I'm going on a very long walk with Reese or I only have time for just a quick little trip around the block, like whatever. I just have to be outside. And there's also something so therapeutic about being outside after you're feeling sick, like literally hungover sick, so even if I'm not in the mood and even if I just feel like I can't get out of bed because I'm a little dizzy, I almost force myself to do it. And every single time, I don't regret it, you know? Do you want to go for a walk outside together? She says yes. Here's to hoping it's not too cold out already because I'm wearing shorts, which is a big move for me to begin with, but also I could be freezing my booty off. Mom, bomb, nuts, gonna get in a good mood. Going outside to walk it off, having the best time ever. Two best friends in a room. Next up on the Taylor's Getting Her Life Together agenda, we need to go grocery shopping. And this isn't a necessary part of the process, but it is when you avoid grocery shopping for a while and you need to restock on the basics. So this is kind of like my in-between, my big haul grocery run. Keith and I usually go to Costco, which when we go to Costco, you can grab like literally everything out of the sun, but sometimes you just need a few quick things to get you by before you can do that big Costco run, AKA we just haven't had time to go, but we still need food to nourish ourselves with. On Giamo, here we go. I hate parking garages. Let's do the darn thing. I never used to hate grocery runs, but nowadays, especially when it's all my responsibility, I don't love it. It's a little bit, of, oh, it's exhausting. I feel very responsible and I feel like every single time I forget at least one thing and I don't live that close to many grocery stores. So it's not like I'm just easily, you know, popping over. So when I go, I've got to go. Gotta go pick up the groceries, yeah. Excuse me, excuse me. Is there anybody else out there listening to Greta Van Fleet on repeat? Because same, same, same. How do we feel about this like folded over situation? I kind of look a little bit like a little schoolgirl going back to my roots. So obviously the goal here is to get in and get out as fast as possible. I come with a list. I will insert pictures of list here. It's nothing extravagant. Like I said, we are going in for la basics. I feel like average Joe would be able to get in and get out in like mm, seven minutes. Somehow I find myself leaving 45 minutes later. Like nothing makes sense. I should be able to navigate it very swiftly, but alas, Taylor not swift, Woods, here I am. these look talk about fall y'all i'm literally already not doing well <laughs> we already are filling up the basket with very unnecessary things but delicious things <laughs> a grocery haul shall we just serving absolute looks on this episode of what the heck has Taylor gotten her life into? <laughs> so as expected, I did buy just like a little, just a little bit more than what was on the list. But to be honest, I feel like I still did pretty well because I could only grab what I could carry. So I had a little bit of resilience. That's not even, no, I don't even know. Baby arugula, my all time favorite green. It is just the best way to sneak in a little bit of vegetables, especially when you don't want them. Sorry, this is so much 
plastic and I'm very mad at myself because I forgot my own bags and they do a very very bad job of putting more than like three items in a bag it grinds my gears sorry rice cakes galore these are like my best friend just because they're easy for me and as a lazy cook you know that is something I very much aspire to have in my life which is ease this I couldn't help myself from refraining from did that make sense I could not believe how much pumpkin things were already laid out in that store. It is like the 5th of September. I'm not questioning it and I'm not opposed, even though I'm here for like the Christmas season, of course. I'm just a celebrator, like a celebrator of life, a celebrator of holidays, seasons, anything, absolutely everything, I will celebrate. So if you want a pumpkin, bring on the pumpkin. Got another Rice crispy treat because you know, gains. So glad I saw these. So stinking glad this wasn't on the list, but I found them anyways. Pickles are, I'm gonna say like top 10 favorite foods of mine of all time. Especially this brand and especially halves. They're just superior and they somehow just always hit the spot. I also saw this, which is a ginger shot and I kind of felt like this might be applicable for the video. Maybe I should have a little bit of ginger in my life. Honestly, should we just take it right now? It has 6,000, are you kidding me? 6,000 milligrams of ginger. That doesn't even sound appropriate. <clears throat> ginger is so good for you. Obviously, I don't really believe in like a wellness drink or like a detox to absolutely change your life, but I do believe in the nutrients that can come from things like ginger. And sometimes I just kind of think it's fun, you know? So cheers to fun times. Mm. Whoa. Straight to the, the cheeks. Oh my goodness, golly gosh. Wowza, that's a good one. That'll clear the sinuses. Okay, completely forgot to add pretzels to the basics list. Should have been there all along. That's a no brainer. This, however, is kind of a fun twist. I can't tell you how many times Dots have been recommended to me as people's favorite choice award for their pretzel of a lifetime. Now, admittedly, I like Dots. Do I love Dots as much as other brands? Maybe not. And dots are very much like Southwest or cheesy or like barbecue-ish. Like it's very, very not my usual vibe, which is why I usually steer away. However, I saw these dots snacks. Oh, they're not bad. They're seasoned with the same seasoning that's on their pretzels that I just ranted about not loving, but it tastes a little bit better on a cheese curl. I'm gonna hate myself for this lighting and everything and like this horrible look. I don't even, whatever. Y'all, you cannot make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. I, <laughs> it's been a minute, you know, I, I came back from the store, I had myself a little snack. I said, I'm just gonna sit down for a quick minute, you know, and I'm just gonna turn on the new D'Amelio show on Hulu. So that was exactly what I did, except I haven't stopped doing it. If this isn't the most me thing to ever been done, I don't even know what to tell you. I had a full night planned of getting my life together, doing some laundry, trying to fold some clothes, maybe go to the gym, maybe even edit this video. Where does it look like your girl's going, okay? I can't even kid you with this. I can't kid you. I've had every snack that I purchased from the store, including a multitude of pickles. I have no plans of getting up. It's like half past midnight, which for me is probably like, I don't know, like 6 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> Life is strange right now. And you know what? Honestly, the one thing that I wanna do at this very moment is log on to BetterHelp. Log on to Noom. This is not a sponsored ad, but I mean that genuinely because it's been on my mind and I feel like now's the time. But honestly, if you could direct me in the direction of a more affordable professional health care, I would very much appreciate it. Because I'm very much trying to ball on a budget over here. And I do not appreciate these prices, all right? I suppose if I wanna like round out this list, as I was saying, the other things that I would probably do on a day when I have the energy to do them would be something like laundry, vacuuming, dusting, just bits of cleaning, I think that will make you feel productive in a sense fantastic but also if this is what makes you feel productive in a sense 
go for it because this is how I'm ending my day. I did enjoy my little walk. I think that was important. I would have loved to have gone at the gym, but I also feel like rejuvenating in this sense, to be honest, feels more important. And people don't chat about that enough. All right, we need to be talking more about the other sides of working out. The diet, nourishing your body, getting enough sleep, making sure that you're getting enough macro and micronutrients, getting enough water in. All of the things that we kind of know, but we fail to acknowledge all of the time. I love you all. This is how I'm ending hangover day two. And I'm very happy about it. <laughs> ah!